is Jeff, the host of The Gridiron. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to The Gridiron, baby. If you give this video a thumbs up or share this video, that would be absolutely freaking awesome. If you subscribe to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If not, please go down below, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon. That way, next time I go live or if I put a video out, you'll be notified. And it's free of charge. Absolutely free of charge. What do you got to lose, right? But if you are subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, the way, uh, very top link in the description box takes you to my membership page. If you want to help support my channel out, it would mean the absolute world to me. I got three different membership levels. To, um, each one has their own little perks to them. So once again, if you want to help support my channel out, it would mean so much, man. I thank you in advance. And also, a little ways down in the description box is an additional link takes you to my Facebook group. It's called the New York Giants, the Gridiron. It's my Facebook group. We have over 9,200 members in the group. It's doing simply marvelous, my dad. Basically, if I'm alive and breathing and if I have internet access, I'm putting stuff in that group darn near 365. It's called the New York Giants, the Gridiron. It's my Facebook group. Please join it. You will not be dissatisfied. I promise. All right. Well, here we go. Another game, another loss of the Cowboys. Shocking, huh? It's come up with uh, new ways to lose. It's team team learn needs to learn how to you know how to win. It, you, know, it's, you know, you know, I mean, uh, something here or something there, or whatever. And the Giants can be three and one. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, it's it just it's just simply amazing. I mean, the Cowboys like told the end of the game, Diggs. I mean, Diggs went in. I think he had cramps or something. He had to get an IV or something, so he wasn't on the field. Lawrence, um, there was one of the plays. Um, uh, Daniel uh, uh, you know, Jones faked. I think faked, and then he like, kind of like bootlegged out. So Lawrence aside, no reblock. Lawrence, Lawrence had his almost had Daniel Jones down, but Daniel Jones shook loose of him and. Uh, and, he, and, and Daniel Jones got out and he, he uh, threw a pass. But then after that, Lawrence went on to sign something like with his, um, not his heel, his arch, I think it was. They taped his arch up. Something's wrong with, with his foot or his ankle. So he was out. Um, Parsons was out. I mean, was, I mean, toward the end of the game, it's like, they got like 13 stringers in there. We, we can't run the ball. We can't score a touch. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, it just <sighs> unbelievable. But what I do now is um, let's go over. Let's start off here with the um, uh, the team grades. See how where the Giants rank according to PFF, um, where they rank at uh, compared to. All the other teams. Now, of course, all the other teams, you know, uh, except for the Cowboys, have only played them all. Everybody else has only played three games. But um, so let's let's see where the Giants after after the Dallas debacle. Where did the Giants rank as far as all the, the teams? So let's uh, let me get here. Here we are. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. All right, here we go. Now, usually the Giants don't get much love. Not that they, not that they really deserve it, but overall team grade. Seahawks. That name sound familiar? That's who we're playing next out in Seattle. Uh, the 87.5, the Saints are 84.5. They're in second place. Uh, let's see, the Giants are. Number 23, 66.3. Offensive grades. 49ers, number one, 80.9. The Vikings with Sam Darnold are number two. I mean, they don't have um, Debo in there, right? They don't have McCaffrey in there. And somehow with Sam Darnold, they're at 82.7. Wow. Holy cow. All right, so we know the Giants aren't anywhere near that close. Let's scroll down. There we go. The Giants are number 23, 63.2. 
but they are better than you know according to PFF as of right now the grades are better than yeah you know, than they were last year although our scoring is pathetic hey right? we scored um what did we score we scored 21 points 18 points 15 points and six points we're averaging I think like 15 points a game or something like that I think we're averaging. so I think well I think so after four games we're actually averaging less points than we were last year if that's if if you can believe that unbelievable absolutely unbelievable uh, offensive grade. I said the 49ers are 80.9. And oh no, I'm sorry. I said passing grade. We I just did the, we just did that one the offense. Passing grade. 49ers 86. All right, the Giants passing grade. Number 18. 63.3. You know, we, we talk about Daniel Jones and this, that, and about the, the throws he made, didn't make, the catches that were made that didn't get made. But that's another story for another time. I can go off on a tantrum on that stuff. So pass blocking. Giants should be relatively decent. Here. The Colts are number one, 85.8. The Giants are, well, the Giants, well, the Giants fell quite a bit here on this one. 66.7. Giants run blocking is just. Trash. Straight up trash. All right. Receiving grade. Who's number one? Saints, 79. Giants receiving grade were number 20. 66. Running grade. Bills, 88.8. Uh, let's see here. The Giants running grade. Where are the Giants? Oh, okay. Let's scroll on down here. Giants running rate, 26th, 63.2. I, 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 they went up against the worst. Um, what would you say? The worst. Well, I, I don't I can't say. I don't, that I don't know. I don't know if they were the worst. The Cowboys, as far as giving up rushing yards, I, I, that I don't know. But if they were not the worst, they were one of the worst. Top, they were probably top two. I mean, giving up the run, running yards. And the Giants averaged one yard to carry against them. I mean, it was just – I think we ran the ball 24 times to 26 yards. It's like, are you effing kidding me? Wow. Wow. Absolutely unbelievable. I right, run blocking. Here we got the, the Colts at number one, 82.3. I mean, well, the, the Colts are here. Culture, run blocking and pass blocking, culture number one. 82.3, run blocking. Giants run blocking, we're number 30. Just straight up, straight up trash. 51.2. And I, 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 I don't even know how it was even that good. I, I have not, no idea. 51.2. I have no idea how it's that good. I mean, we couldn't run against Minnesota. We couldn't run against Cleveland. Uh, before, just if you take away Singletary's 43-yard run at the end of the game there, the Giants average like two and a half yards a carry against Cleveland. And we average one yard a carry against Dallas. I mean, I just... No idea. No idea. All right. Defensive grade. Seattle, 82.5. Number one. Giants, though, number 10. 69.7. Not bad. Not bad. Now, I mean, you know, for the most part, I mean, the Giants, you know, you know they only got one sag. There's a bunch of things you can you know, say bad against the Giants, you know, their, um, their defense, but you know, the Cowboys had less than 300 yards of offense. Cowboys scored just four times. Um, two touchdowns, two field goals. If, you know, if I told you going into the game last night, right, hey, you know, Jeff, you know, the Cowboys, you know, Cowboys only scored four times. The Cowboys are just going to score two touchdowns and kick two field goals. I'd sign up for it in a heartbeat. 20 points, sign up for it in a heartbeat. 
And as bad as the Cowboys' run defense has been, and if you told me that Lawrence was going to be out of the game, Diggs was going to be out of the game, and Parsons was going to be out of the game, I'd, be, I, I'd sign up for that in a heartbeat. But once again, found, found other ways to lose football games. Uh, absolutely unbelievable. All right, let's see here. Okay, so we got the run defense. Vikings, number one, 79.8. Giants run defense is number 18, 58.9. Tackling. The Lions number 174.6. The Giants tackling. All right, Giants 20th. One, two, three, 48.6. Wow. And, you know, it's just kind of funny because you got Antonio Pierce, the guy, the tackling machine, all this, that, and the other thing. Well, look who's not, who's look who's the worst. It's just according to PFF. That's all I'm going by here. All right, look, the Raiders, their tackling is at 29. Wow. You got 29 for, for the whole team. That's, um, I, uh, I, I, I ain't even words for that, how bad that is. Pass rush. Steelers number one, 88. Giants number six, 72.7. Now, because it goes to show you what a difference a week makes. Uh, last week, again, well, four, four days ago, whatever it was, five against Cleveland, we had like 36 pressures. This week, we only had nine. We're at home. You need the big boys to step up. Kayvon had a good, good, he had a lot of pressure, but. Other than Kayvon, I think that we had like four pressures all game. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, coverage grade. Let's see here. Seahawks, number one. 89.9. Very impressive. The Giants, number 13. 68.4. So, I mean, that's not bad considering. We, actually, McLeod was in there last night, right? We had... Um, well, Phillips wasn't in there, but we, you know, Flott was in there, right? We got Banks. We got a bunch of young guys in there, Newbin, uh, you know, uh, Pinnock and all that. You know, so we got young guys in the secondary, and, I, you know, just according to PFF, right? You know, we're right kind of high, 68.4. Not bad. And hopefully with the younger guys with some more experience, if we keep continually have the, the Bowen defensive system and all that, hopefully, you know, the coverage will get even better. better. All right, and then finally, special teams. Seahawks, 86.9. All right, let's see here. Oh, where the Giants are at, special teams, special teams. Number 20, 66.6. I'm not, I'm not liking that number. 6666, six, 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 right? All sixes, not liking that number. But for, for, now, for the most part, you know, that's not too bad. Um, but I mean, I mean, uh, once again, it's, um, you know, it's very early in the season. We've only played four games, a long way to go. But I mean, compared to what we were last year, last year, we were unbelievably, ungodly horrible. I mean, of course, a lot of that also has to do with the, the revolving door at the offensive line, the revolving door we had at quarterback and all of that, you know, so. Made, made, made it tough, made it tough. But uh, our grades for PFF were at least a little bit better. At least we're a, a little bit um, more respectable this season than we were last year.